Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one is an HP NV M4. The model number is an M4-1050. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can speed up the laptop dramatically. Because they do have a nice processor, iCore 5, iCore 7, and on those range. And this applies for any NV M4 models. You can replace the mechanical drive that they comes in here with a solid state drive, which will increase the speed dramatically. I would recommend you guys to do it. The bottleneck on this system is the mechanical drive. And I would recommend you guys to put a good brand uh, mechanical S uh, SSDs. I would recommend you a Samsung brand or anything like uh, with a Crucial, but do not put any A Data or Kingston. Those are really garbage brands and they don't last you a long time and they have a little slow speed so you have an option to go with a mechanical drive or go with a solid state drive they're both the same uh, connector they both work the same so if your mechanical drive is failed you want to put a mechanical drive for whatever reason you can go or if you want a solid state drive you can put a solid state drive and they are both the same just remember once you do the upgrade there's no operating system on these drives or there's no files or anything you, I made a video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description if you guys need to. And in this video, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys how you can boot it up through here to install it. And again, the proper way, of, uh, proper way of installation of the Windows, you can check any of my Windows installation video to follow the steps. The, all the steps are the same. But at the end of the video, I'm just going to show you guys how to boot it up from here. Anyway, so I'm going to open it up and I'm going to replace it to an SSD or mechanical drive. But in this case, the client wants to go with a mechanical drive because they don't want to spend the extra money to get a solid state drive. No idea why, but yeah. All right, so first thing first, it's really simple to do this process. All you need to do is a screwdriver set. I recommend you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver set. We're going to be using uh, Philips number Z one. And we're going to remove the battery by pulling this trigger towards the left. Slide the battery out. We're going to loosen up this screw. This screw has a little spring to it. Once you uh, start opening up, the spring is going to push it up. And there's a C-lock on the other end. It prevents it from coming out entirely. So all you need to do is to loosen it up. And now you want to push this trigger all the way. Pull this trigger all the way sharp to the left. And you're going to see this cover coming out like that then you want to continue pulling it up a little bit and that's it then you want to lift it up and there you have your hard drive you want to use a guitar pick or something like this to pull this cat because you can lift it up from here because after a few years it becomes really tough and it's not going to come out so you can rip these rubbers so I'll, what i do i just put it in the corner in here i just lift it up from one side up it's easier once it's in this position, I don't want to remove the connector here. You can either pull this jack upward or leave it like that so you don't have to disconnect any other stuff. In here, instead of pulling this cable, I'm going to pull this connector backward and keep it in there. So I don't want to bend this cable too much because these are old cables. So run the cable. There's a little groove here. You can run the cable right in there. Now, this is the Toshiba hard drive that it has. So we need this rubber caddy so we, there's no screw, just pull it backward and remove the rubber. Make sure you remember the orientation for the SATA and position of the hard drive. So pull this side too. And there we have it. Put it to one side so I see I removed it like this. And in the same position either I can put this one or I can put this one here, whichever you like. I'm going to go with this one because the client choice. But if you really want to speed it up, put the solid state drive. But if you want a big storage and you're going to start writing big files all the time, you don't want to warn up SSDs, they're worn up really fast. All right, once you got the new drive in there, this is a low profile, so it doesn't matter if there's a little gap in here. You want to connect the connector right on top. It only goes in one way, just snap it in place and bring the hard drive, push it down in the cover right in there. Don't worry about the exposed part on the top. It has a little this plastic thing in here. You can either rip this apart, but it becomes like it has an adhesive to it. 
So no point to remove it, leave it the way it is. It's not gonna do absolutely nothing. And you wanna grab the cover, put it in an offset position, and then you wanna slide it back and you wanna hear click. That click, once you hit that click, you just start tightening up the, the screw, put the battery in, and that should be all. If you guys have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. If you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. All right, so let's connect that. I'm plugging the USB to one port. So what do you want to do right now to boot up? Uh, we're going to power on and at the same time, you're going to start tapping on escape key. So power on and start tapping and keep tapping until you get a menu on the top side from this menu you're going to choose f9 it says f9 boot device option f9 and you want to go down and choose your usb uh, uefi uh, minus samsung you're going to choose that and it's going to start booting up just wait five to ten seconds and it's going to boot up to the installation menu and you should be in there within a few minutes and it takes up to 10 minutes. If you put an SSD within 10 minutes, you are in the desktop ready to go. But with a mechanical job, it might take up to 20, 25 minutes. So nothing is happening right now. So I'm just pretty much gonna wait five, two minutes. And there we go. And I see this tiny loading screen thing, tiny balls like rotating. So I'm gonna fast forward this part. And there we have the menu. The installation menu is right over here. So we can just click next. And click install now. And it's gonna take you to an uh, rest of the thing. Oh, you can follow the how you install the windows in my other videos, any of my installation windows, and you can follow it. So let's keep this video really short. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video.